but I really, you know. What is interesting about this Bianyal is 20 years of the Bianyal. So it has a certain history, a certain inscription too. I was evidently very sensitive to the question of being in a museum. I think you don't work the same if you do a Bianyal in different temporary places or places that you would occupy the time of the Bianyal or if you are in a place which has a construction of being a museum with a collection, with a program of exhibition, with different programs. The time of the exhibition, which is five months, and how these five months can be a receptacle of a different trans-artistic proposition, a receptacle which offers a space for experimentation, and uh, which is activated all along the five months with program of performances, with a symposium, which is cut in three parts, September, November, January, a series of conferences every month, and a program of screenings. It's really an aspect of thinking how the museum position itself in relation to Biennial, to production, the question of reception, of diffusion, of collection, and how the Biennale can participate to all these aspects. So this context had to be sought. For me, it was very important. You have different modes of existence of archives. You can have an archive which are what we call dead, not activated anymore, or in a state of invisibility, or in a state of non-accessibility. The exhibition is very much emphasizing, I think, this uh, notion of uh, not thinking the archive as something belonging only to the past, but an archive uh, from the moment is activated, is immediately element which construct a possibility to construct different narrative of your present, in the anticipation of how the future is. I think it's very important to emphasize that there is a question of who decides that certain things should be kept or not, and where and how. And this question of who decide of archive being considered as meaningful for historical uh, construction or political construction, social construction, is a question of where is all the power? And that's a, evidently a very important point in the exhibition. Through these processes, there is an emancipatory aspect to it. Through so these alternative narratives being constructed by artistic gesture, it has strongly to do with the uh, emancipatory act. This is being shared and is uh, an activation of the way of thinking our present. 